Hello, I'm Marion Underwood, Dean of Purdue University's College of Health and Human Sciences. And I'm Eric Barker, Dean of Purdue's College of Pharmacy. We are delighted to share with you this virtual tour of the proposed nursing and pharmacy building. I think you mean we're delighted to share a virtual tour of the proposed pharmacy and nursing building. Well, whether you want to call it the nursing pharmacy building or the pharmacy nursing building, this building is going to provide our students in both colleges amazing opportunities. Agreed. The nursing and pharmacy education building will support transformative pharmacy and nursing education programs and support our strategic approach to meet the evolving needs of healthcare. Purdue nursing and pharmacy students will benefit greatly from the building's highly synergistic design and state-of-the-art facilities. From clinical education facilities to classrooms outfitted for innovative teaching to an interdisciplinary simulation center designed to create versatile simulations, our students will collaborate and learn alongside each other and faculty throughout this outstanding building. This new space will accommodate interprofessional education and greater research opportunities for two outstanding programs that have doubled in size in recent years. This proposed new building will help prepare our students to adapt to the changes ahead, serving as leaders in healthcare and pharmaceutical settings for generations to come. The role of the professional nurse has evolved over the past two decades, with professional nurses now prepared to meet the changes and challenges of healthcare by providing leadership, clinical expertise, and care to patients, families, communities, and populations. The role of the pharmacist is rapidly changing due to advances in science and technology. Pharmacists will become central in the delivery of patient care in a broad range of practice settings. Community pharmacies will expand point-of-care testing for diagnosis and monitoring of a variety of diseases, making the pharmacy a hub for primary health care. Both in Indiana and in the United States, there is a tremendous need for highly skilled nurses and pharmacists. The COVID-19 pandemic has put an immense strain on health care resources, driving the need for health care professionals to an all-time high. Now is the time for us to advance a workforce of well-trained nurses and pharmacists. We are excited about this collaborative pioneering project that will allow our pharmacy and nursing students and faculty to work alongside each other. Investments in Purdue's pharmacy and nursing programs are important to adequately address Indiana's and our country's growing healthcare needs. With your support, we will continue to make giant leaps for the betterment of human health. I think that the proposed building when thinking from a collaborative perspective, I know that um, in healthcare in general there is a lot of interpersonal collaboration with different majors and job positions and stuff, so I know that nurses are the ones that talk to the patients the most and interact with the patients the most and usually pharmacists are the last person to speak to patients before they're like discharged or check out for their medications or whatever. I think it would be beneficial just in terms of having that pre-collaboration before you graduate and actually get into your field because when you actually get into practice, those are the types of people you're gonna be interacting with on a regular basis. So just preparing yourself for that and getting the opportunity to dig into the mind of someone from a different profession as you early on would be um, beneficial for everybody on both parties. I think that the new building would definitely help the flow of my day because I know when we come here, we can only be here for a limited amount of time because again, the rooms here get booked up so fast in this particular building that we have for pharmacy students. So I guess it would just eliminate the having to go back and forth to different buildings to find a place to study or find a place to print or just to sit if you wanna sit before next class. So yeah, I would definitely look forward to something like that, not having to move around so much. I feel like I would benefit most from the hands-on part of the new building. Um, just being able to have that physical practice before I graduate and like, I know a lot of times when you hear teachers and professors explain what you're supposed to do without the actual act of seeing it happen, like in front of you physically, it can be kind of confusing and hard to grasp because I'm more of a hands-on person. <laughs> Just hearing things and seeing things doesn't really help me as much. So I know that for me and most likely other future pharmacy students and nursing students alike would definitely benefit from something like that because I know a lot of people would prefer to have the hands-on approach rather than just 
me explaining it to you by word of mouth. Preparing us for the future in the best way possible, this building would contribute to that greatly. So I would definitely look forward to that. Class labs are laboratory learning environments for students to practice hands-on learning in a wide variety of modalities and applications, such as benchtop experimentation, fundamentals of patient care, patient safety, assessment, and critical thinking skills. Class labs in the program include the pharmacy practice lab and the nuclear pharmacy lab. The pharmacy practice lab is a distinctive and essential component to contemporary pharmacy education. It is the workhorse of the pharmacy practice program. Nuclear pharmacy at Purdue has a long and distinguished history and continues to be a growing and evolving component to pharmacy education and practice. One of a few nuclear pharmacy programs in the country, Purdue is a leader in its education and is a preferred location for continuing education and research. The proposed classrooms will all be collaborative, active learning spaces. These student-centered spaces will foster interactive, collaborative learning environments where students can discover knowledge through rich discussion, teamwork, and interactions with faculty and peers. In addition, classroom space will be flexible, accommodating a range of class sizes and student needs. Nurses have the opportunity in their careers to work with all different types of healthcare professionals. And something that's stressed to us in Purdue Nursing is the importance of teamwork and collaboration, not only between nurse to nurse and nurse to patient, but interdisciplinary. So this new proposed building would be a phenomenal opportunity for all the nursing students to be incorporated with the pharmacy students. There would be opportunities for simulations between pharmacy students and nursing students. There'd be opportunities for projects and research developments between them. So I just think it'd be a really cool opportunity to have that interdisciplinary work um, at the undergraduate level. The new simulation center will have ample opportunities for us to take part in bigger and better simulations than we currently can. Right now, our building is a little cramped and there are lots of students that come in for simulations and at the moment, we can only do one or two simulations at a time. But with the new space, we'd be able to have multiple nursing levels there at once, all doing their simulations and learning from each other at the same time. We'd have more equipment. We've had, we would have big, uh, just a bigger space to be together and to learn. My mom was actually a Purdue nurse and she came here, she graduated in 1991. And the building that I'm in is the same building that she had her classes in and she had her simulations in. And while I think that's awesome, I think there is a time for bigger and better things. And this building would give kind of the push Purdue nursing needs to be the program that we definitely can be. It would give us more learning opportunities, it'd give us better equipment and just areas to push ourselves to be better nurses in the future. COVID-19 has shown America the value of nurses and healthcare professionals as a whole. Your support of this proposed building will enable future Boilermakers to be better prepared to tackle unprecedented challenges in the future. Thank you. With increasing enrollments and limited off-site clinical openings, simulation is playing an ever-increasing role in nursing and pharmacy education. Simulations offer experiences to students that cannot be replicated at clinical sites. With this type of education, students have opportunities to practice their decision-making and critical thinking skills through varied real-life situational experiences in a safe environment. The simulation center proposed in this building is envisioned as an interdisciplinary facility. A robust simulation experience is mandatory for the future of both the nursing and pharmacy programs. The simulation facilities will provide the university opportunities to test new protocols, conduct research, and script new simulations, all of which will further the position of nursing and pharmacy as a national leader in simulation. The vibrant, flexible learning spaces that comprise the building's skills and assessment labs are the foundation of hands-on clinical learning for nursing education. The size and schedule of the labs are designed to cycle through the entire cohort of sophomores in one week and coordinate with classroom coursework and predetermined off-site clinical placements. The skills and assessment learning requirement for the accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing program is overlaid onto the traditional undergraduate lab schedule to fit both programs. In all, the labs can accommodate 276 undergraduate students. As the role of the pharmacist shifts from distribution of product to direct patient care, 
we need to enhance the active clinical learning of our students. The proposed Pharmacy and Nursing Education Building will allow students to practice interprofessional teamwork. By supporting the Pharmacy and Nursing Education Building Initiative, you will help the Purdue College of Pharmacy meet four high-impact goals. First, promoting interprofessional and multidisciplinary collaboration and partnerships on campus with units like nursing and the life sciences institutes by strategically placing this facility near the emerging concentration of life sciences on South Campus. Other key collaborations that would be enhanced by new facilities at a South Campus location include veterinary medicine, drug discovery, the Cancer Center, Health and Human Sciences, as well as the IU School of Medicine, West Lafayette. Second, we need to attract the best faculty and students. Nearly all of our top 25 peers have more modern facilities than Purdue, placing us at a competitive disadvantage for faculty and student recruitment. We must address our decaying building infrastructure that poorly supports contemporary teaching and research. Third, we wish to enhance collaboration within the college by bringing our faculty and students in proximity to each other. We are currently fragmented across eight buildings, literally spanning campus from north to south. Bringing faculty and students together is a top priority. Lastly, we'll be able to catalyze a profound upward trajectory of the ranking of our PharmD program in keeping with our Big Ten peers. Other reasons that this building is important to Purdue include that our educational approaches, curriculum innovation, and accreditation standards require specialized clinical teaching spaces that would be very difficult to provide in the current nursing and pharmacy facilities. Over the past 20 years, pharmacy programs have shifted completely to the clinically focused Doctor of Pharmacy program. This shift places an even greater pressure on our facilities and curriculum to provide advanced patient-focused training experiences. The proposed building will support transformative pharmacy and nursing education that prepares graduates to be leaders in practice in both general and specialized clinical settings. Indiana and the United States have a great need for highly skilled nurses and pharmacists. Our estimation is that two-thirds of all Indiana pharmacists graduated from Purdue and two-thirds of our nursing graduates work in Indiana. Our pharmacy and nursing graduates are highly sought after at the state and national level because of their unique skill set, often securing highly competitive residencies, leadership, and change agent roles. The COVID-19 pandemic has also accelerated the retirement of pharmacists and nurses, thereby exacerbating the current and projected shortage of professional nurses, advanced practice nurse practitioners, pharmacists, researchers, and scientists over the next decade. For over 135 years, graduates of the Purdue College of Pharmacy have been recognized as leaders in their profession. The college has consistently been ranked among the top 10 pharmacy programs in the nation. Both the College of Pharmacy and School of Nursing are ranked number one in the state of Indiana. With your generous financial support, the College of Pharmacy and School of Nursing can continue to educate the future healthcare leaders of not only Indiana, but the nation. Greetings from the Purdue University School of Nursing. I'm Pamela Caragori and I have the privilege and honor to serve as the head of this top-ranked School of Nursing. For more than five decades, Purdue School of Nursing has prepared and educated highly skilled nurses and confident, innovative nursing leaders to care for the patients, families, and communities of Indiana and beyond. We are incredibly proud of our students, faculty, and alumni and the impact they have on improving the lives of those they serve. Throughout our 55-year history, our faculty and leadership have taken bold, curious, and forward-thinking approaches to advancing our mission, vision, and strategic approach. This allows us to meet the evolving needs of the patients, communities, and populations who require safe, accessible, and cost-effective health care. Over the past decade, the School of Nursing has responded to local, state, and national primary care needs by expanding our long-established practitioner program offerings to include a family nurse and psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner programs. Recognizing the national shortage and critical need for nurse researchers and scientists, we launched a PhD in nursing program, only the second in Indiana. Our nursing PhD graduates possess the research knowledge and skills to lead and collaborate 
with transdisciplinary teams to address the grand challenges we are facing in healthcare. As the state and country continue to face a shortage of professional nurses, the Purdue School of Nursing responded. And in 2016, we began a monumental enterprise that would double the number of Bachelor of Science in Nursing graduates by 2020. Led by our award-winning faculty, this project included hiring 32 new faculty and staff, restructuring our curriculum, and committing to sustain the quality and rigor that our school was built upon. I am proud to report we have achieved this remarkable goal. The School of Nursing now graduates more than 200 professional nurses with a Bachelor of Science every year, and 70% of our graduates remain in Indiana to care for our fellow Hoosiers, their families, and communities. But as we celebrate our achievements, we now face a critical shortage in teaching and learning space. With the inadequate space and accelerated growth of our nursing programs, we are faced with challenges to meet our accreditation standards, interprofessional education goals, and the growing need to reinforce and expand our nursing workforce. Recognizing this significant barrier, we are excited about the plans for a new campus building for Outstanding School of Nursing and College of Pharmacy. This building is critical to meet the growing enrollment in nursing and will transform and modernize nursing education in the state of Indiana. Our students, faculty, and staff in the School of Nursing represent the determination, grit, and excellence that is part of our Purdue land-grant mission. But we are not done. As we continue to evaluate our programming and assess the evolving healthcare needs of Indiana and the nation, we stand prepared and committed to educate the next generation of nurses, primary care providers, leaders, and scientists. After all, we are proud Hoosiers, and this is what makes the proposed space for nursing the highest of priorities. Thank you. As you have heard, facility upgrades and expansion are critical to the continued success and impact of Purdue University's nursing and pharmacy programs. Both programs have outgrown their current space, occupying facilities that were built several decades ago for a student population less than half their current or projected enrollments. And our nursing and pharmacy faculty are located across 10 sites, with some in rented space off campus. It is crucial that we prepare our students to adapt to the changes ahead, serving as leaders in healthcare and pharmaceutical settings for generations to come. The proposed Nursing and Pharmacy Education Building will support a highly synergistic learning environment and will provide multiple opportunities to enhance students' professional skills. From clinical education facilities to classrooms outfitted for innovative teaching to an interdisciplinary simulation center designed to create versatile simulations, our students will collaborate and learn alongside each other and nursing and pharmacy faculty in state-of-the-art facilities. This outstanding building will serve as a showcase for healthcare education and research at Purdue. The proposed location along West State Street on the southwest corner with Russell will provide an optimal crossroads, bridging the traditional academic campus with the Life and Health Sciences District and Discovery Park. The placement of this building will help health figure more prominently in the life sciences at Purdue and will provide natural opportunities for connections between pharmacy and nursing researchers and the other life scientists working in Discovery Park. Investments in our nursing and pharmacy programs are vitally important for adequately addressing Indiana's and our country's growing healthcare needs. We are excited about this collaborative pioneering project and we invite you to partner with us to support our students and faculty as we continue to impact our communities making lives better. With your generous financial support of the Nursing and Pharmacy Education Building, we will continue to make giant leaps for the betterment of human health. Thank you.